Now here is a question, a question for you. Remember the answer, we'll start with a Q. Um, but a lot of people shy away from it for fear that somehow they're announcing that they're not handling things well. Okay. Yeah. We'll go to Harry, who's calling us from Pittston. Harry, you're on the air. Go ahead, please. Hello? Hi, you're on the air. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm in kind of a pickle here. Uh, I'm actually a first-time home buyer, and uh, yeah. I, I, I watch on the news all the time that uh, that's a great time to, to buy, and that there's all these foreclosure auctions going on. So I go to I go to one of them, and uh, I see a well I thought was one of them, and I see a three bedroom, two bathroom house. So I bid a hundred thousand dollars, and I won I won the bid, but then I found out it was a gingerbread house. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> it was a what house? A gingerbread house. <laughs> Oh, well, no. <laughs> he's, he's bringing up something interesting, though. There, there are lots of people who go to, to share, I think, to share sales, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and, and they buy things, and they think they're going to be these great properties, only to find out that there are hidden costs that, uh, in them. Um, can you tell us a little bit uh, about some of the hidden costs that can be purchasing a foreclosed home or a home in a sheriff's sale? Well, I think you really need to research and probably um, contact an attorney. Uh, one of the things that you could be getting into is, is buying a home that has liens um, and, and debts that you'll have to satisfy uh, once you purchase the home. Mm -hmm. um, in, in addition, um, a problem with foreclosures in many places where they're sold is that there's not the ability to inspect the home before purchasing it. Um, and so you don't know what you're buying and something that seems like a great price may or may not be that. And to just